I mean, does anyone else have a massive blanket with Mickey's face on it? I don't think so. <laughs> God, guys, so today is day three of the Because We Can Readathon, and I am standing because I feel like I need to have the feet on the floor to get through today's challenge because it's a big one. So, today's theme is 101 Dalmatians, and we have got Dalmatian Plantation is our challenge title's name. And basically, we just have to show you 101 of something. And when I first heard this challenge, I was just like, I don't even own 101 of anything, but I'm pretty sure I have 101 random, useless points pointless things. So I'm going to be going down a bit of an aerial path here because I have got thingamabobs, I've got what's it, I've got who's it, I've got gizmos of plenty, I have got a lot of things and I'm excited because I'm going to try and find 101 things in this bedroom to show you as quick as humanly possible because it's going to be a long video. But I want you guys to tell me what your top three favourite things that I'm about to show you. And I'm sure some of them you have seen but this is going to be such a pointlessly random video that I just don't know if I'm going to want to edit it, but it's going to be a thing that I'm going to do. But I am excited to get into this video. I'm going to show you 101 pointless things. Does anyone else have like a random obsession with dream catchers? Because I do. I have so many of these things and I love them so much. But it might be like from my twilight phase when I was just like, oh my god, like Jacob got her a dream catcher. Does anyone else have a massive light up letter for their name that doesn't work because I'm pressing on and off and it's not coming on? I have soap in my room, I don't know why. But it smells <coughs> pretty bad. Guys, you know I've been obsessed with Shit's Creek, but look, I have a scarf that is all about Shit's Creek, and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I can't wait until I can wear this and make it fashion. What about this blanket with Mickey's face on it? I'm obsessed. Look at it. It's Mickey, and I'm excited. And guys, what about my novelty bag collection? Because I have a lot of random bags that I don't know where to wear them to, because I have this bunny one that is just like a fit. It's a look, it's a look. It's just like, hey, Easter's come early, here's my bunny. But then I also have this handbag that's a piano. Like, where am I gonna wear this to? Who knows, because like, not me. And then I also have one for like popcorn. So like next time I go to the cinema, I'll be like, um, excuse me, I have popcorn already as my look. Like, it's fashion. Maybe I can just wear them like all at the same time because I'll be like, this one can have like my wallet and this one can be like my phone and this one can just be like necessities. This candle, because it says Pisces on it and that's what I am. Ew, it's all like cracked inside. You know, I have to bring in my love of Baby Yoda here because I have a makeup palette with my baby's face on it, but I also have these Baby Yoda socks that I have worn a couple of times, but my Doc Martens don't like socks, so they wear everything out the minute I put them in the shoe. What about this lanyard, right? Because it is like giraffe print and everything, and it's like a good size, but then it turns into like a party lanyard. Like, can you see that? Can you see it? It's like the sun's making it happen. So like, I'll be working and then it's like, it's, 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 it's. like we have to have the party zone happening. This pencil case that I just whipped myself with the label. It's like a Van Gogh pencil case. Like, can you see? It's like artworks and shit beautiful oh my god not one purse but two these are literally my favorite purses to travel with and it's funny because this one is full of money from hong kong that i was like yep i'll use that next time i travel and then covid happened and i can't go anywhere and this one is just a really nice purse it's really simple but it just does the job it needs to do oh my god these things that i've never used in my entire life they're pandas but they're like novelty cable pinches. Oh my god, I have like prayer flags and I don't really want to get them out of there. But you know in Nepal when they have them like hanging up everywhere? My dad bought me like mini versions of them when he was over there. And I have never put them up because I don't actually know where in my room to put them. Because there is so much crap everywhere in here. These sunnies that I bought online that don't suit my face. Like, <laughs> it's a look. And what about this? I have a fan, right, that goes like this that I got from a bonbon like years ago because I never chuck anything away. But like, it's a vibe. A bracelet from the time that I volunteered at the color run and never actually got to do the color run, which is depressing. And a pop socket of a leaf. Like, does anyone actually use pop sockets? Because I don't. You know, I'm putting the scarf back on because I wanted to prove the point that I also have baby hands. They're so beautiful, it makes me feel great because I can like brush my hair and just look nice and just like be ready and I could like hold a book up probably. I could probably hold a book up, I feel I could. Like guys, here's my most current read that I'm reading at the moment, like One Dark Thrones, but I'm like not really that invested. But like I just keep like, you know, flipping the pages and hoping for the best and like my bookmark's in there and I just, you know, this is a really, really good book. 
I'm doing a reread. Plushies because I have to show you my plushies because I have a Mickey plushie and a mini plushie and then I'm obsessed with him. He is honestly my favorite because he's so fugly. And I love him so much. I also have this Kiwi plushie. But look at him. He's so cute. And this little sailor bear that I picked up at like a charity shop. And he like hangs up or something. But I feel like I don't want to hang him. But he's like a little sailor. So cute. And this peach. It's like a stress ball. And I am hypnotized by it. Because it just keeps... And then I have lots of random mugs in my bedroom. I actually have a lot of Harry Potter mugs and I don't know why, but this one is a Hufflepuff mug and like when you put the water in it, it goes yellow. And then I have this one that's like a Niffler on it. And this one is Love Wizards Tolerate Muggles. So I have these mugs. I have like eight mugs in my bedroom and I don't know why. This mug does got books on it because like, of course I need the books on the mug. This mug that just goes Is that how it is? It's like a, getting the cat to come here. And I have a BB-8 mug. This is my favorite mug of all time. Also this mug for Schitt's Creek because I need it. I also have this water bottle from Priory the Orange Tree that I doubt I'm ever going to use that says, Care for of us. Yeah, I have a whole heap of fandom jewelry in here too that I just want to like go through some of it. I have the little angel from the Dark Artifices because like why the hell not? I also have a time turner that I really enjoy and it actually spins and let the little bits of dust go shoom 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 shoom. Not fandom, but what about this pineapple? It's like jiggling, but like say it, take it. And there it is, Captain America shield. He should just like have one so that he can like wear it and just be like, yes. I kind of want something that's like Bucky inspired, but I don't know what to get. Like, what would you even get for Bucky? Like, I don't even, I actually have Bucky. I have Bucky as a pop doll, but, and this is like a rarer pop doll. Like, apparently these ones go for like quite a bit of money because Bucky with the mask is a rarer one, but I have it and I'm obsessed with him so much. Like, I love him. I have the ruby slippers from, um, what's it called? The Wizard of Oz. And it's got like the little star wand. Honestly, they these two are like my favorite because this one is a Herondale ring from the um, Mortal Instruments and I also have the chipped cup from Once Upon a Time which is like Belle and Rumpel's like thing and I was so obsessed when I saw this online I'm like I have to get these two things to be honest I actually have like a lot of Mortal Instrument necklaces because I've got like the demon charm that Isabel wears and I also just have like this rune it's um I think it's fearless and then I have the main little rune and I love this necklace because it's so simple and it's just like this tiny little charm I have this necklace that could bloody take you out and it's from Tower of Dawn so you must enter where you fear to tread but like this is like a massive thing it's just like big like how do I style this I don't even know well like, this was like a necklace I was obsessed with when I was younger and it's just lucky and it's got like a love heart um an ace of parts and like the horseshoe charm and I just used to wear this like all the time and I don't know the obsession but I love it. Okay I want to show you this one mainly because it's funny because it was meant to be um a horse and carriage and it's so deformed and squished that I'm like so horrified and you can open it and everything but like it's so not something I'm actually gonna wear. Oh my god when I was like high in my vampire academy thing I did not wear anything else besides Elena Gilbert's necklace and it's funny because in the back of it there actually is like little seeds of vervain which I think is hilarious but I used to wear this all the time and I was like oh my god I'm like amazing I have Elena's necklace and now I'm just like yuck <laughs> gotta make it random again I have this pot that has like its little lid that's like my parents got me from Vietnam and I don't have anything in it because like I don't know what to put in it it's very small but like it's cute and what about this narwhal like look at it it's blue and it's got this little horn and it's like oh I also have this bracelet that a lady from work got me that says friend, which is cute because every time we go traveling, we buy each other something and I think that's adorable. And I also have this keychain that I got from the big Buddha and it's just like praying hands and stuff. I have my bells. I love them so much. And I really only wanted this one, but on my second trip to Hong Kong, I also got like wedding dress bell, which we have never seen. But the thing is, is why do they look so sad and concerned? Like focus on them, focus on them. Money box. That does have some money in it, I think. This Beauty and the Beast cup that I literally was obsessed with using, but then I stopped for some reason. But I probably will pick it up again. I just was drinking water out of it, though, because I'm so cool. What about for adult Disney fans? Shot glasses. Like, I'm obsessed. My cousin got these for me for my birthday, and I love them so much. So we have a Minnie and a Mickey. Amazing. What about this hourglass that I just randomly bought because I thought it would be, like, good for the aesthetic of Instagram that I have never actually really used it in many photos, but... It's fun. What about this creepy magnet with the child's face on it that I have where it says, how I sleep at night knowing I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow? Like, 
why would I have acquired this? I don't know. What about this pen? It's like a little bird. How cute is it? It's so random. I just got given this one Christmas from like a customer and I was like, this is so random. I love it. One of my favorite things, this fan that has my name on it. This is how my name's written in like the language and I still have written Abby here, but like I wanted it in rainbow and it's beautiful and I just leave this open. Like I feel like this could be something you could like just put on a wall, but it's so gorgeous. What about this snow globe? But it's like my face, like I'm in the middle there. What about this really cool bookmark that my friends got me from Vietnam because it's made out of like tissue paper and she's just gorgeous and I just love her little dress, like beautiful. What about this Game of Thrones box? It's so fun. What about this sign that says dream? It was going to be for the aesthetic, but then it didn't actually end up working, so I just have it chilling. It is solid, though. This is like a solid sign. Still one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten, but this is a Night Circus candle. This was literally custom made for me when I was a rep for Cool & Co. And even though they did bring it into, like, something that you could buy, I always felt so special that they decided to make this for me. Yet, the candle is just caramel spelling and strong, and it's too strong. I also have this little dish, right, that has these bracelets, and it says if it's not broke, don't fix it. But these are bracelets that I bought in Hong Kong because all of my possessions seem to have come from Hong Kong but like I'm not mad about that and also I seem to have like a lot of headbands so obviously the Disneyland Mickey ears are great but I also have like these panda ears that are just like really cute that I got from Ocean Park of Hong Kong obviously but like beautiful. What about my creepy little jester? I've literally had this since I was 10 years old and I'm never gonna get rid of it even though I have dropped him and I've cracked his face just a little bit but like it's such a big memento to me this little thing. Even though this is such a stupid thing to have I have a Mandalorian like you know Ushi but he's like one of the special glittery ones. Like literally, I am that person that collected all the Ushis. Like I had them sitting on my shelf and I had to pack them away just because they were like a bit too babyish but like I'm obsessed with him. What about this tiny little dragon? Look at it, look at it, look at this little dragon. He's like, oh, woo, woo. And what about this random thing? It was a collectible and I got the chocolate bar from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I feel like a makeup tutorial. Like, look at it, there's the golden ticket. And I'm obsessed. I have these little keychains that literally are lightsabers. So we have a green one and a red one because this is Darth Vader's and this is Luke's and it's like pew, pew, pew. Like, they're so fun when it's dark and you click it on and it's just like, Gzzz. What about this candle holder that's an owl? The candle in here is like so dusty. I don't even want to show you guys, but like I've had this for so long. It was a secret Santa present and you could do some weightlifting with this thing. Oh my God. Oh, so if you like my bookmark holder, this is literally the cup I got when I went and saw Mockingjay Part 2 from the cinema. And I just think it's such a perfect thing to fit all my amazing amount of paper bookmarks in there. Like amazing. You know, just to add a little bit more beauty, who has one of those like really fun, you know, things where you'd be like, Phew, makeup brushes. I don't actually fully want to show you because like look how messy it is. Like my makeup makes such a mess and even though I clean these brushes, I love the idea that it's in this little case. Like you could have like a little belt and be like makeup brushes. And I have not used the blushes because I don't use blush. I also have this notebook that I got from Nepal that my dad bought me and it's like handmade paper which is really cool and I like put in all the currencies from like the country that he brought back which is really cool. I don't think I'd actually want to use this like to write anything down in but it's just really cool paper and the fact that this is just like their version of a notebook is just really really cool. Guys I'm running out of things to show you like I think I'm in the 80s right now but like what else can I look at? I have more Mickeys. I'm excited. So we have General Mickey and then we have Fantasia Mickey. I feel like you can never go wrong with notebooks though. I have so many. So this is a notebook that's like a colouring in notebook. So there's like colour pages throughout it, which is really cool. Then I have this one that's layer that says read. It's our only hope, which I am obsessed with. And then I have these two Marvel ones. So I've got this one that I actually got from Disneyland, but I realised when I got back that my copy is all damaged and crap. But I think it's going to be really fun to write in this because it's got like the Avengers A on the pages, if it focuses. And then I got this one with the fist on it. And it's like, oh, power, snap that shit. And I don't think it does anything. It just has the A on the pages, which is really cool. You know what I find random? That I just have these, like, textures that are really good for when you play bingo. Because I went to drunk bingo a couple of times because there was nothing else to do. So we were like, let's go and drink and play bingo. And on the last time we went, 
we ended up stealing the pens and I don't know why. You know guys, I showed you some makeup, but not all of it and most of it's Disney themed. So these two makeup palettes are Bye Bye Birdie and Flutter Bye and they're just really nice patterns, even though this one's more purpley and this one's more like neutral tones. I generally use this one a lot because I like the like lighter tones, but I also like darker tones. It just depends on the mood. Then these are two Disney themed ones. So we have Midnight Masquerade, which has a lot of characters in it. And then this one is It's a Princess Thing and I'm obsessed. This was actually one of my first makeup palettes that I bought because I used to always use really cheap makeup but then I found out about Colourpop and I bought all this Disney makeup that I didn't know I needed but I did need it. Then these ones are like specially packed ones so I have one for Tiana then I have one for Belle and then I have one for Snow White. Honestly I could have gotten the whole collection but it was gonna cost a lot of money but basically each one comes with like a lipstick a lip gloss and like a shimmery thing and I just am obsessed with the packaging like how beautiful are these and then I had to get the Anna and Elsa collections like I'm obsessed but how beautiful are these boxes there is a bit of makeup in each like there's a lip gloss a lipstick then there's an eye palette and then there is also like another like glittery body shimmer thingy but like I needed these and all this stuff cost money but like I'm obsessed okay I've just calculated and I think I've just showed you a hundred items so I'm hoping that my hundred and one item will be my Scarlet Witch Funko because WandaVision just came out we've done Bucky we can do Scarlet Witch I sadly don't have a Falcon or a Vision Pop Funko but that's because like once my whole thing was fooled I couldn't put any more on there but if this is my last 101 item I'm gonna show my girl Scarlet Witch when she was all cute and beautiful in Age of Ultron and just like yes I think I've done it I think I've showed you 101 thingamabobs so guys I hope you enjoyed this video challenge I feel like this video may potentially go for a very long time but I'm gonna try and edit it as closely as I can so that this will be a fun time for you guys but anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye